Well, hi everybody and welcome to my shop. You might have noticed I haven't posted a video for a couple of days and that's because I've gone through lots of changes here in my shop. So I'm just going to tell you about one of them and that's the camera that you're looking through right now is different than the camera I've been using. So I'm no longer using my playbook, my tablet. Instead I'm using a, a high definition webcam and the reason I can do this now in my shop is I put a computer in specifically for working in my shop here. Since I've crossed the 100 subscriber mark, I think I better do a little better job on my videos and try to make them a little more enjoyable and at the same time make the process I face in making videos a little more efficient. and. Uh, Hopefully I've done that. And hopefully I've gotten rid of that terrible shuffling noise that you can hear as I shuffled my tablet around the shop. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I have to learn again all my camera angles and techniques for, uh, for capturing video. So that's part of my story. Next part, uh, you're looking at a Normandy Electra. Um, this is not the one that I was working on. I did a couple of videos of. This is one of the other two. If you remember, I had three of them here. The other one, uh, during my blackout phase, when I didn't have the ability to make a video, uh, I finished. And I'll tell you, there was nothing to it. Uh, it was suffering from uh, output that would get weak after about five or ten minutes. It turned out to be the output tube. With the output tube changed, the, uh, the rate of work just fine. And... Uh, that was it. That was all it took. It was just a change of a tube. So it's gone. And I'm afraid I can't do a final video on that one. But here's one of the, one of the three Electras here that we're going to work on. Oh, by the way, the other Electra, the one that's identical to this radio, uh, turns out there's absolutely nothing wrong with it because it's been through my shop already about four or five months ago and accidentally it's come through again. So, so that radio I just tested and put aside because there's nothing wrong with it. This guy's in pretty good shape. He's working. That's FM there. He's working, but actually it's FM with no antenna. Yeah. So the problem with this radio is pretty simple. It's just humming a bit. Uh, I doubt it's being picked up on camera. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to have to learn my camera angles here, aren't I? <laughs> so, well, one thing about using the tablet before is my camera was the image was on the back of the tablet. So if I looked at the tablet, I saw exactly what was being videoed. Now I got to look over, I guess, and keep an eye on my computer screen. In any case, what we're going to do with this radio is uh, simply get rid of the hum. I'm sure it's going to be a pretty simple matter. So, what do you say we get on with that? Hey, that sounds like a good idea to me. Okay. So, another change that's occurred in my shop, and if you've been watching my videos, you hear me regularly complain about uh, excessive radio noise on the AM band. And somewhere along the line, in the changes I've made, and I've made quite a few changes, um, in, even though I've introduced another computer, a big computer, a lot of the noise has disappeared. So I don't know why. I'm just real happy that that's what's happened. So we're going to have to take this guy out of the cabinet. Nice and clean in there. Yeah, I'll have to take him out of the cabinet. Oh. 
That's interesting. What's that? It's, uh, huh. There used to be a plate on it, glued on it. Why would you have a plate there? Another thing that's going on with this radio is uh, the on-off switch is not working. And that's so common on these, these radios. By the way, if you're going to take the screws out on the radio and have it tipped on its side, take the bottom ones out. And the radio will hang from the top screws just nicely. Assuming it's four screws. It's really only when you're taking out the last screw that the radio may shift in the cabinet. So for that one, we'll go down. Now a couple other changes I hope to make here in my shop. I hope to be able to monitor the uh, sound uh, by wearing headphones so I know exactly what I sound like when I'm talking on the video and I won't fade out from dropping my voice, turning away from the camera or whatever else might, uh, might make that happen. That's interesting. Now, on the last radio like this, there was a black wire, just like this. A little bit mysterious to me because there's the two wires feeding the speaker, and then this black one coming back. And look, on this radio, it's it's pulled off. Looks like it's been pulled off and not put back. Maybe this rate wire is short. To get the radio out, you have to do something with this one. But it should have been detached up at the speaker. So maybe we'll have to figure out where this wire goes. And the light bulb's burned out on it, too. So we'll place that. Oh, boy. Look at that. The wrong wire's been taken off. Okay, hold the fort. Hold the horses here. I need to warm up my soldering iron. And uh, I'll have to detach this black wire. This one, it's, this one, this bad news, this is out here. I'm sure this has come off the uh, output transformer, and there's many, many possible positions for it. Hmm. I may have to get the other radio in here and take a look at it. And uh, figure it out from comparison just where this, this wire should be going. Uh, the radio was working. That's kind of mysterious to me. Um, okay, you know, I could nip that black wire. Let's do the light bulb while we're waiting here. I want to come out. Help me, man. I can't change a light bulb. <laughs> Holy smokes.
There it comes. Wow, I'm screwed in there pretty tight. And we'll make a quick test of the light bulb on. Pretty certain it's burned out. Test the meter. Test the light bulb. And the light bulb's no good. Wait a minute. What kind of bulb is that? 7 volt. 0.3. It's a 0.3 amp 7 volt light. 0.3 amp 7 volt light. Point three amp seven volt light. Just keep that in mind for now. Jeepers, I don't know where those speaker wires are going. There's a yellow one. It actually goes down under the chassis here. And this black one, we're not sure where that's going. And this one goes down under the chassis too. I'll have to do a little bit of work to figure out exactly where those wires are supposed to go. Out she comes. We're going to want to get it in the area of the filter capacitor, which is up in here. It's right up in there. So uh, I don't see any replaced parts. This radio is not a really old radio. That's for sure. So we've got to figure out. Uh, well, it looks like there's only two halves to that capacitor. Let's read the uh, values here 50 and a 50. So. Now I've got a couple of good replacements for that. It's a 160 volt. No, these are too low, 160s. Forty-seven and four fifty, forty-seven and four fifty. Those are the ones we need. The hum was only slight, so the capacitors haven't failed; they just weakened. And uh, pretty tight to solder in there, that's for sure. So we can go elsewhere. So here's a positive lead here. We can go on there. And the other one is 
What am I seeing there? Well, the other side appears to be grounded. That doesn't make sense. Does that make sense? I'm sure this is a Class A amplifier. Um, hmm. What's going on in there? Maybe I'm just a little crazy. I'm not crazy. Wait a minute. Yeah, maybe I am crazy. Oh, I see it. <laughs> yeah, I look very carefully at these wires sometimes. So that pink wire right in there looks like it's going to this terminal but it isn't it continues on by connects to the tube here and this is it here so here's a connection point here's another connection point I can put a capacitor on so I have lots of options I don't have to dive down deep in there I call that a good thing Let me just try another camera thing here. No, that didn't work. So I'm going to end up trying quite a few different little camera things while I learn how to uh, get the most out of this little camera from time to time. Okay, so where can we ground this capacitor? Okay, so there's a ground point right here. So we can easily install this capacitor this way. Very good. Now I noticed in my YouTube statistics that I just passed 100 subscribers and you're probably one of them. So I want to thank you very much for subscribing and I'm going to try to do a better job both making videos, editing them, now that I have a bit of a better facility in the shop. You know another thing too, when I was using my tablet as the camera. I couldn't use the tablet as my tablet. And I couldn't um, jump on the internet and check information, uh, which I will be able to do now. Whoops, hold on here. Camera wire and my soldering iron. The wire were competing there. Okay, so we'll Okay. Right. Make a quick check. Yeah, that's good. Double check, make sure it's the ground that I'm fooling with. It is. I'll bring this down and around. Down to there.
I think I'm also going to consider an external microphone uh, separate from the one in the uh, camera here and uh, and headphones, wireless headphones, which I spent some time this morning trying to find my wireless headphone transmitter and I've you know, I put it in the box and put it away somewhere. I wasn't able to find it just yet. Okay, so this second capacitor, you put it way up here. Lots of space for it. You put it off this terminal. Great ground point right there. I think that's the winner. Okay, so let's uh, start with the ground side. Yep. Nip off a little bit of this. Positive wires, a little long. A little piece of green stuff here. A much littler piece of green stuff. do it. Now another thing I, I've got to figure out over time is the proper settings for video quality. Oops, that didn't work well. Video quality and stuff like that. Well, I think I missed it. Let's see. Yeah, got it. Don't have enough hands. You know, like putting my finger above my soldering iron, the heat is coming up. Woo. Come on. Come on. You can do it. that down a little bit. Push it right over, in fact. There we are. Okay, this set is not going to hum. Let's double check now. Negative is grounded. Negative is grounded. Good. Well, this set will not hum. Now we're back to the light bulb and on-off switch. Let's look at the on-off switch here. Here's the, uh, well, the 
Yanov's, which has been defeated. I can, I can see that already. There's an orange and a black wire there. You can see. And the two of them are connected together on one side, and the other side of the switch is open. So the switch has already been defeated on this radio. So our options are install a auxiliary switch uh, sticking out the back of the radio. Um, don't install a switch, it's just always on, that's not the best thing. Try and get this switch to work again, which is probably not going to happen. Here's the switch here. Well, let's just look at the mechanism of it. Uh, there's no mechanism movement in there at all. There's a, uh, a sliding plate uh, that moves with this on-off switch. And the sliding plate is coupled into the switch with a, a link that comes down. So here's the moving plate. The link comes in, and the plate moves the link back and forth, and the link is missing. So the plate is moving. There's nothing at all activating the switch. Now... Could it be the link is simply dislodged from its proper spot? I see something in there. There's the link. And it's it's just way out of the... Uh, it's way out of place here. There's a spring mechanism in here. That's probably what gives it the the snap, you know, one position or the other, driven by the spring. I just try shoving that link back down into the plate here. There it goes. I can feel this the spring now I'm working against. Doesn't want to engage properly in the sliding plate. Let's see if I can give you a closer look at this. Now this little camera, it's a little webcam, it's very light. It means I can shake it a lot faster than I am. Playbook had a bit of mass to it, so it wasn't quite as shaky. <laughs> okay, so there's the switch there. Let's see if I can get it on camera. Okay, the plate, you can see it right there moving. You can see the arm coming down, it's not moving, it's not properly engaged. In fact, it's interfering with the plate now. That little arm. Okay, 
So there it is. This is the arm here. <sighs> okay, my guess is whoever whoever did the wiring change up here uh, attempted to make the switch work and couldn't. So I'm going to deem the switch shot. It's so common in these radios. Um, I don't think it's worth trying to get it to work properly. It's never going to work properly. So what we need to do is put an auxiliary switch in. So let's let's do that. 